This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. Title of this video clip is The Epistemological Order, Computers as Thinking Tools. The analysis questions are as follows. Number one, using your own terminology, what does the epistemological order description mean to you? Number two, in what ways are what-if ideas equivalent to an, an hypothesis? And number three, according to Jonason, what is a cognitive tool? Describe one that you have used. And number four, what are the four factors of success as listed on the ICT course 2011 website? The HCHI model, or Human Computer Human Interaction model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. Note that the technical order is used whenever a learner interacts with the computer. This means that when epistemological, informational, and social competencies are being used, so are the technical competencies. In fact, they cannot be ignored. This video clip will initially focus on the epistemological order or the assigning of lower order cognitive tasks to the computer software for processing, which frees human beings to attend to higher order cognitive tasks in order to understand and solve complex problems. The epistemological order deals with issues and competencies revolving around the production of procedural knowledge in that the user inputs data and commands to the technological object, a device such as a graphing calculator or an application such as spreadsheet, which in turn processes the information according to set parameters and finally displays the results to be read and interpreted. In order to use a spreadsheet, database, statistical package, qualitative data analysis system, concept mapping tool, or any other information processing software effectively and efficiently, the user must clearly understand the discipline involved as well as the structure, commands, and parameters of the software used. This conceptual knowledge is translated into operational methods or schema within the software as required for efficiently and effectively identifying and solving of problems or for the establishment of specified tasks. That's a quote taken from Desjardins 2005. Large quantities of numeric data are difficult to analyze and interpret when viewed in their raw form, that is, in their numeric form. However, when numeric data are entered into an electronic spreadsheet, such as Google Spreadsheet or Microsoft Excel, it can be manipulated using formulas and then subsequently graphing the results of the calculations that are carried out by the software. The graphical results are much easier to interpret in order to arrive at conclusions and evaluations of the situation. Depending on the graphical results, the user may want to adjust the results by changing the formulas in accordance with a user-generated hypothesis and then subsequently reinterpreting the changed results, allowing for predictions or what-ifs to be made. Epistemological objects or cognitive tools, that's a reference to Jonas in 1996, these are epistemological objects that are intended to engage and facilitate cognitive processing, or they can be thought of as a set of tools that learners need in order to serve cognitive apprenticeships, scaffold the knowledge construction process. Kim and Reeves, 2007, state that cognitive tools are technologies that learners interact and think with in knowledge construction designed to bring, out, bring their expertise to the performance as part of the joint learning system. These tools then perform a specific set of tasks that set them apart from the great majority of software tools and web-based affordances, such as those created by many online course and instructional designers. Cognitive tools, then, are computer-based tools and learning environments that have been adapted or developed to function as intellectual partners with the learner in order to engage and facilitate critical thinking and higher order learning. That's a quote taken from Jonason, Computers in the Classroom, Mind Tools for Critical Thinking. And uh, the reference will be in uh, the theory section of this video clip. Cognitive tools can benefit learners by serving functions as follows. Support cognitive processes, such as memory and metacognitive processes, Share the cognitive load by providing support for lower level cognitive skills so that resources are left over for higher order thinking. Allow the learners to engage in cognitive activities that would be out of their reach otherwise. And allow learners to generate and test hypotheses in the context of problem solving. And that's a reference to Lejoie and Derry, uh, 1993, Computers as Cognitive Tools. 
Take a look at the epistemological order pages of this website, which is set up for the B.Ed. program. And the link is given to you and it will be provided in the PDF um, in Blackboard later. The website gives more information about the epistemological order. Read through the pages that can be accessed through the links and spend some time with the learning activity and the subject skills. Some simple examples of epistemological tools can be found at the bottom of Model 4, the Computer as Cognitive Tool page. And these would be a database, a spreadsheet, and a semantic network or concept map. All of these serve, uh, will serve to provide an additional description of the epistemological order. Note that a database, spreadsheet, and semantic network by themselves are not necessarily um, cognitive tools or epistemological um, or support epistemological competencies. However, they can be used to do this. The theory page, um, you're asked to see the following um, articles. Desjardins, 2005, and you've seen that one previously. Um, Desjardins, Lacasse, and Belair, 2001, and you've seen reference to that one before. And I'm also adding Jonason, Computers in the Classroom, Mind Tools for Critical Thinking. And uh, I would suggest that if you can find a copy of that, it would be grand to be able to actually take a look at uh, what Jonason talks about. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, describe how you would use a computer program as an epistemological or cognitive tool. Specify how the usage would contribute to the development of hot or higher order thinking skills for the learner. Number two, how can you ensure that computer hardware or software will be used for higher order thinking skill development? And should this be the focus in adult education? Number three, how can computer-based tools and learning environments function as intellectual partners with a human learner? What does this really mean and what does it look like? And number four, what is the relationship between using computers as cognitive tools and constructivist learning? And that brings us to the end of this video clip.